ago, the Honey Bee's food truck in Newburgh went up in flames, and it happened at the worst possible time. And not only is the summer rush around the corner, the owners say this comes after a series of other misfortunes. Fox 12's Jeffrey Lindblom has the story. We both kind of went up and to say goodbye. The 50-year-old Honeybee's food truck leaves behind its home at a food pond in Newburgh for the last several years. Co-owner Andrew Wegman nicknamed her Murphy, like Murphy's Law. Yeah, it's kind of, we knew anything that's going to happen is going to happen in that truck. The nickname comes after several break-ins. Watch as cameras capture this thief breaking their way in, only to jump inside, throw items out, and hurl themselves back through the hole that they originally made. Wegman says he's also seen too much vandalism to keep track of, and most recently a fire that he learned about early in the morning when he got a phone call and saw some photos of the truck engulfed in flames. I said, thanks, I gotta go, and I hung up, grabbed my keys, and ran out the door. When he arrived, this is what he saw. Panicked, he says a firefighter recognized him as the food truck's owner, having dined there in the past. Right away, the fireman kind of stopped me and grabbed me, you know, calmed me down. Um, the last four years of my life just went up in flames. He says fire crews explained that things like this regularly happen to food trucks because of all the flammable materials on board. Um, I kept asking how this happened, how this happened. Since the truck was closed at the time and after a restoration person pointed out some hot spots, Wegman suspects the culprit was a lit cigarette thrown into a nearby trailer trash can that could have ignited the propane line. And from there, the fireman kind of told me the propane line, once it burned, it shot flames right through the center of the food truck. Wegman says it burned just about everything inside to a crisp. All that stuff that's plugged in, the uh, TV monitors, the, the Comcast router literally exploded everywhere. Um, I was even surprised to see the, the metal had melted. He says right now it looks like insurance will only cover the vehicle and not any equipment inside or out. Meanwhile, Wegman says they're opening up a restaurant soon, but the Newburgh spot was their first, holding a special place in his heart. He says things like this are just part of running a business and believes the loss of their Newburgh location may be a sign to just focus on their new spot opening in Portland come early July, which he hopes runs smoother than Newburgh. Maybe I can feel comfortable working five days a week instead of seven. <laughs> Jeffrey Limblom, Fox 12, Oregon. That's what we got. Wegman says his business partner's daughter set up a GoFundMe on their behalf, although he's not sure it will generate enough funds to bring the Newburgh spot back. You can find a link to that at kptv.com.